Meet the car of your dreams, folks. It's the brand new Polestar 4. This electrifying SUV coupe from Polestar is the talk of the town and for good reason. With its sleek exterior styling, it's a real head-turner that's sure to make a statement wherever you go. But how does it compare to Polestar's other models? Join us as we explore every inch of these cars to find out which one reigns supreme. Let's start with the front of the car, which is an absolute stunner. The dual-blade headlights and the low hood and bumper give it a sporty edge that's impossible to ignore. And if you think that sounds familiar, you're right. The Polestar 4 borrows some design elements from last year's Polestar 02 Roadster concept, now known as the Polestar 6. But this time, it's all about the SUV coupe. When viewed from the side, the Polestar 4 exudes sophistication with its aerodynamic shape. Compared to the Polestar 2, it's sleeker and more streamlined, giving it a modern and elegant appearance. Now let's talk about the rear three-quarter angle. The light bar from the rear design is simply breathtaking. And while some may argue about the lack of a rear window, the mirrors located in the roofline are actually cameras or screens that provide a new perspective on driving. The Polestar the 4th of May be a little taller than a Tesla Model 3, but that's only because it has fantastic aerodynamics that makes it stand out from the crowd. In terms of size, the Polestar 4 is like a lifted sedan or liftback, but it's so much more than that. At over 4.8 meters in length, it's larger than a BMW X4 or a Porsche Macan, but not quite as big as a Porsche Cayenne. Of course, being an all-electric-only vehicle based on Polestar's new C-platform which uses nickel-manganese cobalt batteries, the Polestar 4 is an eco-friendly ride that's perfect for the environmentally conscious driver. The Polestar 4 is available with dual motors or a single rear motor, and it's designed to give you the ultimate driving experience. It may be a little on the heavy side at over 2.2 tons, but with its incredible features and stunning design, it's a ride you won't want to miss out on. Now let's dive into the interior of the stunning Polestar 4. As you step inside, you'll notice that it's a departure from what we've seen in the Polestar 2 and Polestar 3. It's suave, exquisite, and exudes premium quality. The cockpit-style layout gives you a sense of being in control, and it's the perfect place to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Compared to its current vehicles, Polestar has turned up the wow factor with a 15-inch landscape screen, Snapdragon processor, and Google Android automotive operating system. The interior looks like a work of art, and it's clear that every detail has been painstakingly crafted to give you the ultimate driving experience. We can't wait to see how spacious the back seat is, given the coupe-like profile of the vehicle. But Polestar assures us that the boot space is up to 500 liters, with up to 2-ton towing if you go for the dual-motor version. The Polestar 4 features a floating center console and an angled design reminiscent of the Porsche, as well as a large screen display that will blow your mind. The speaker notes the high quality of the materials used in the cabin, with a perfect mix of fabrics and leather and a notable absence of plastics. Despite being a medium-sized electric vehicle, the Polestar 4 is bigger than the Kia EV6, and it outperforms all the cars in its price range when it comes to size. At 4.84 meters long, 2.14 meters wide, and 1.54 meters high, with a wheelbase of 2,999 millimeters, the Polestar 4 is built on the Glissy platform and is closely related to the Zeker 001. The Polestar 4 is an engineering marvel that is sure to impress even the most discerning driver. So, are you ready to hear about the estimation of the Polestar 4? Well, the base model will start at 60,000 euros or $60,000 or 55,000 pounds, and that's for the long-range single motor with rear-wheel drive, boasting an impressive 272 horsepower, a massive 102 kilowatt-hour battery pack, with a peak charging speed of 200 kilowatts, 22 kilowatt onboard charger, and a WLTP-rated range of 600 kilometers. Sure, this entry-level version may be a tad slower than the higher-end models, but don't be fooled. We suspect that the rear-wheel drive version will be the real driver's car of the bunch, it may have slightly smaller wheels, the smallest being 20 inches, but this will translate into a more comfortable ride. Plus, being rear drive, you'll be able to push the limits of the chassis a little bit more, giving you a thrilling driving experience. Of course, if you're after the ultimate performance punch, you'll want to opt for the all-wheel drive version. But regardless of your choice, we're confident that the Polestar 4 will provide an electrifying driving experience that's sure to impress even the most discerning car enthusiast.
And with room for an entry-level version at around 50,000 euros, there's no doubt that this electric vehicle will appeal to a wide range of drivers looking for a powerful and practical car. The long-range dual-motor Polestar 4 is set to take the market by storm with its all-wheel drive, 544 horsepower, and impressive WLTP-rated range of 560 kilometers. But that's not all. This beauty can go from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 3.8 seconds, making it the fastest production Polestar yet. And for those looking for even more excitement, there's the optional performance pack, which may not increase the power output, but is sure to enhance the driving experience. Set to launch in China in November 2023, the Polestar 4 is bound to cause a stir in the automotive industry. And with its Android Automotive OS, 15.4-inch infotainment system screen, and 10.2-inch driver's display, this car is tech-savvy and ready to impress. You can even opt for a 14.7-inch head-up display and a Harman Kardon sound system with 12 speakers and 1400 watts, or upgrade to Napa leather to enjoy 16 speakers, with two in each of the front seat headrests. But that's not all. The long-range dual motor also comes equipped with a semi-active suspension system, as well as performance and eco-drive modes, to ensure a smooth ride no matter what your driving style is. And for those eagerly awaiting its arrival in Europe and North America in early 2024, the wait is almost over. This car is sure to be a game-changer in the world of electric vehicles. Now let's compare the Polestars to their competition. Let's dive into the world of Polestars and explore what makes them so unique and desirable. First up, we have the Polestar 2 with a starting price of €49,000. It's a standard-range single-motor car that packs a punch when it comes to performance. However, if you're looking for a car with more range, you might want to consider the Polestar 4, which starts from €60,000. Now, you might be thinking, what's the difference between a mere €11,000? Well, let me tell you, the Polestar 4 is a long-range single-motor vehicle that can travel up to 80 or 90 kilometers more than the Polestar 2, according to WLTP rated range. But that's not all. The Polestar 4 is also much bigger than the Polestar 2, with a length that's over 20 centimeters longer, a wider body, and a longer wheelbase. In fact, it's more similar in size to the Polestar 3 than the Polestar 2, which is pretty fascinating. Speaking of the Polestar 3, this is where things get even more exciting. With a starting price of €88,600, this vehicle is in a completely different league compared to the other Polestars. It's built on a different platform and is designed to compete with the most luxurious cars on the market. The interior is simply stunning, and it comes standard with a bigger battery, more performance, and air suspension. Let's take a closer look at how the Polestar 4 stacks up against some of its main competitors, the Tesla Model Y and the Hyundai Ioniq 5. At first glance, the Polestar the 4th of May seem more expensive than these two vehicles, but when you consider the range, it's actually a different story. There is no Hyundai Ioniq 5 or Tesla Model Y that has 600 kilometers of WLTP rated range. The closest ones you can get are around 5,000 euros less than the Polestar 4, priced at 55,000 euros. The Tesla Model Y long range, which comes with dual motor and four-wheel drive, only has 533 kilometers of WLTP range. On the other hand, the Hyundai Ioniq 5 with rear-wheel drive and long range and the big battery pack has 507 kilometers of WLTP rated range. So, while the Polestar the 4th of May be more expensive than these two cars, you're getting a lot more range for your money, as well as a much bigger vehicle. It's 20 centimeters longer than the Hyundai Ioniq 5, although it has the same wheelbase, and it's around 9 centimeters longer than the Tesla Model Y. But the size of the Polestar 4 is not the only thing that sets it apart from the competition. It sits between the Tesla Model Y and the Audi Q8 e-tron in size, illustrating just how big this car really is. With a luxurious interior and impressive performance, the Polestar 4 is a force to be reckoned with in the world of electric cars. Speaking of Polestar, in this video we've put together everything you need to know about the Polestar 3.